1988, Nintendo had a whopping 90% share of the video game market. The company's domination of the industry got even bigger when it introduced its video game equivalent of Sony's Walkman. And Nintendo had none other to thank for its success than Mikhail Gorbachev. Well, sort of. Right at the end of the Cold War, a Soviet computer engineer named Alexei Tajanov created a puzzle game called Tetris. When the Iron Curtain lifted, Nintendo got its first look at Tetris and started talking rubles. And we knew that that could be the killer game on Game Boy.